Hello everyone, I just wanted to do another garden dome update. Everything's doing real good. Last time you saw it, I think it was just tiny, just little, little plants. It's all doing great. This is my corn over here. And it's really interesting that you can see this is where the roof blocks the sun most of the day, or at least early. Same thing in the back. These are all raspberry transplants. Well, clones, I guess would be the right word. My raspberry bush was getting too long. I let it go like really long on one vine. And then at some point I realized if you just let them go, like trim them down, then you get all these shoots coming off of here. And so the little stringy vine wasn't going to get a whole lot of berries on that, but I'm getting my first raspberries coming in. I had lots of blackberries last year, but not any raspberries. The strawberries hiding back there in the back. I should have planted them somewhere else. Uh, this was my early cilantro from last year. Uh, so it was in March they started growing. I'm like, oh, because it's time to get the cilantro to the ground. So just letting this go to seed. Here's some seeds. There you go. So yeah, everything's going really good. I guess I'll just keep going around. I hope you guys are doing good. Hope some of you started gardens this year. Got about 18 plants of cilantro. Uh, last year I let them grow out. And that older growth just isn't, it isn't that good. It's okay to eat. But this is what you want. So every two, three days I cut all those off. And you can probably see down in the bottom that they've been trimmed extensively. I probably harvested eight ounces of stuff off them already. And it's just really a lot tastier. Just take scissors <laughs> Uh, this was radishes. I had a really good radish crop, probably two, three pounds of radishes. And I got some free seeds, so I planted something called a ground cherry. Sounded interesting enough to try it. This is broccoli. I'm excited about that one. This is my spinach. I've harvested about four pounds. You can see where I've been trimming on it. And it's getting pretty close to the end of the spinach season. I have to water it every day. But all I do is I just get my colander and just trim a whole bunch off until I got enough for four or five days. And these are my peppers. I did five different varieties. They're a little close together, but I'm water and fertilize on a regular basis. I got one popping up, pretty excited. Everybody likes tomatoes and peppers, so I really wanted to have enough to give away this year. I got about 12 tomato plants. Had to put the net up because the squirrel ate two of them and I was really afraid of losing them all. Probably take it down today. This is kale. Keep ripping the kale out that's <laughs> covering my blueberry up but the blueberry must not be ready to grow yet this is i think red vein spinach somebody gave me some seeds for that and i was really excited about that so onions and garlic you can tell the difference between onions and garlic garlic is wispy and onions it looks similar but they have like hollow centers to them <laughs> really good and this is my ochre cage this was tomatoes last year tomatoes and okra but I wanted a specific one and then I had tomatoes pop back up from the seed so I can't kill tomato plants I think I'm just gonna let them go there's some okra in there they must just really be like a May 15th thing where they, they didn't do anything before that and a lot of people told me to do trellises for watermelons and pumpkins and I didn't really last year they just the watermelons spread out through here and I didn't want to deal with that again these are my pumpkins and oh they're looking good let me see if i can pull that out that's a female right there at least a female node to it i think if they're like melons they're gonna have both on each plant but it's really fun to pollinate those i'd only done edible stuff before and i really wanted more bees around so i'm experimenting with a few different things this is all wildflower mix you get it in a big bag with mulch in it and i think i overplanted it because it's just really dense but my roses are doing good yellow and pink and I did do some raspberry clones in here but I don't know if they're doing good we'll see I'm just gonna let it go wildflowers won't be next year I'll probably do something else but roses them are here to stay somebody gave me an elephant ear type thing and there's marigolds all around that I'll fill it with dirt next year but dirt budget is just done this year and the last thing I got is catnip I have kitty cats so I'm really excited about that they said it'll spread out so it'll probably be all along here I figured I have so much trouble with weeds. Why not just plant a weed that I want? Also painted my garden table. I miss the bright colors when I'm really trying to make the house look better. There's still a few things up. That was a memorial that I'm not gonna take down. And sign the Chris made. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you'd like to see another one of these videos in about a month. Hopefully it'll be tomatoes by then. Bye.